Did you know that out in Boston, March 17th is a holiday? And no, it's not St. Patrick's Day. It is evacuation day. To evacuate means to pick up and to leave quickly. So you might have to evacuate if a hurricane were to come in and you lived close to the ocean, you'd have to pick up all your stuff and go. What's evacuation day in Boston? Well, we're gonna go back in time a little bit. So we've already learned about the Declaration of Independence which was in July of 1776, but Evacuation Day happened on March 17th of 1776. So this is actually a little bit before the Declaration of Independence. And it all started in the winter of 1775, December, to 1776, January, so in that winter before the Declaration, when Washington was short on weapons and guns and cannon, and he was in desperate need of some. Remember that the Continental Army had, or not the Continental Army, but the militia after the Battle of Lexington and Concord had chased the British back to Boston. Um, after the Battle of Bunker Hill, the British were still in Boston. When George Washington finally took control of the army. The army was on the hills and the towns around Boston. Because if you remember from our map of Boston that we looked at in one of our lessons, Boston was kind of almost like an island back then. And there are lots of towns that surrounded it. And so the Continental Army was in those towns. And one of um they tried to keep the British there. They wanted to force them out of Boston. One of the things they had to do was they actually, while they were surrounding Boston, had to put fake cannons. So they made like logs and they painted them black to put on, can on the hills so that from far away, if the British were looking through their telescope from Boston, it would look like there were cannons on the hill. But those fake cannons weren't going to last long. So there was a fort that the colonists had captured from the British upstate New York called Fort Ticonderoga. Now this is where General Knox comes in. General Henry Knox, who was a bookseller in Boston, who was forced out of Boston after the British took the city over, was a colonel in George Washington's army. And General Henry Knox, in the middle of winter, led a group of soldiers all the way to upstate New York with on foot back, with horse on a horseback and on foot, to get the cannons from Fort Ticonderoga and bring them all the way back to Boston. Now, what does this have to do with a road in Russell? Because if you looked at the introduction to the lesson, it said holiday in Boston. What does it have to do with a road in Russell? Well, there's a road in Russell called General Knox Road. Because what happened is he brought the cannons down through New York, okay, and then from the other end of Massachusetts back across through this area to Boston. So General Knox Road is in the area where General Knox brought his cannons through on his way to Boston. And I actually know somebody who lives near General Knox Road who, when they're digging in their backyard, found a part of an old Revolutionary War sword. So look at that, we even have proof. Um, so what they do is they bring those cannons, the real cannons, back to Boston and use them to surround the British and, on, and force them out of the city. And on March 17th, the British finally left Boston, which is why the area around Boston celebrates a holiday called Evacuation Day on March 17th.